Hey everybody, how's it going? So sorry, we're in the shop tonight. I got the printers going. Got a, it's uh, gonna be a busy evening of printing. I got the three FDMs going. I got the photon going in the cabinet back behind me. I'm gonna have the CNC going here in a minute. So it's gonna be a busy night. But I uh, found something cool in Idea Maker. Um, not super apparent. I don't know if it's a new feature, if it's been there for a while and just kind of sort of been hidden, but it's not something that's very apparent uh, until you have a need for it. And then when you find it, you're like, holy crap, holy grail. Well, maybe not holy grail, but it's pretty cool. So this is Thunor. Um, I printed him out and took him to the office for some so like a prop kind of jokey thing. Anyway, T H U N O R. He's on Thingiverse, um, and uh, it's a very cool, you know, one of those scan the world type sculptures, sculptures. And uh, so I printed him on my Ender Three. Came out beautiful. Did my normal three walls. Um, and I tried to get away with doing no infill, but there are some features like down here on the base that he's sitting on that has uh, you know a 90 degree uh, deck that he's sitting on and that is, per that is parallel to the bed. And of course, you know I can't print that with no infill because everything in there is just gonna fail. Uh, you're gonna end up with a big old spaghetti monster. So I had to print him with infill and I printed him at 15% infill. So why don't we show you that real fast here. So he's going to be about eight hours and 30 minutes or so. Um, but this tip is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of material. And you'll, you'll, uh, you'll like me a little bit more for it. So eight hours, 29 minutes, 43 seconds, 98.4 grams of material. Okay, so keep these in your mind. Let's go to the preview. And we'll slice them up, slice them and dice them. And so you can see, so I did honeycomb on this one. That's what my setting is right now. Infill all the way down. But it's kind of a waste. Really, for 90% for of this dude, it's a waste because it's mostly um, vertical walls. So when you've got a bunch of vertical walls, I don't have a lot of things other than this bottom piece where I would really need infill to support any uh, internal structures. So I know that about 14 and a half ish millimeters from the bottom, I don't need any more infill. I could stop. So keep that in your mind real fast. So 14 and a half millimeters, okay? That's where I can stop doing my infill. So let's move this. Let's go back over here to your slice. Now instead of slicing this again, let's go to your group and layer settings. And then we're gonna go to the per layer settings. Now normally this is where you'd like change your, your, um, your layer heights. So if you were normally printing at 0.2 for let's say a portion of the model and then you wanted to change it to like 0.1 or 0.12 because of some fine details or you get into the top of the head and you want to try to avoid a, you know, um, a stepped rounded surface on top, that's where you would change this. So if we add that, you get your old standard, you know, hey, here's my 0.2 millimeter layer height. Here's my starting Z and Z layer height that you might want to change it to. And if you want to change your speed and all that good stuff. So instead of changing my layer height, I'm going to change infill. And here's how you would do that. So we've got our setting picked here. We're going to go to uh, the pencil. And we're going to say add a setting and now we're going to click infill and you can see that there are 10 things here basically these are 10 things that it pulled from my infill tab on my slicing template and these are 10 items that i can change at a per layer setting okay simple enough so let's click ok from here now i have the options so you can see here 15 percent that's what it was at let's change that to zero and so now i'm going to say my starting z 14.5 five millimeters at 14 and a half millimeters I want to change my infill to zero okay now if we re-slice this it's gonna give me an error or a warning that hey you have group and layer settings on you know about this I always like leaving that error there um, I don't do this don't ask me again because I want to know that I left it on because it'll stay there until you get rid of it regardless of what model you're printing just so you know doesn't matter what what template you're using once you set up her layer setting, it stays there until you get rid of it, and you get rid of it by highlighting and, slit and, get and clicking that minus button, okay? So anyway, yes, I know about it. Let's keep it. Let's slice it. Now let's look at the new times and the new weights. So here we go. Six hours and 42 minutes. That's darn near two hours, just shy of two hours. And it's 70.9 grams instead of 98 grams. So um, that's a significant time in material savings, uh, especially on a model like this. Um, so now let's go to preview, just so you don't call me a liar, like I know you will. 
So here we go. Here's our dude. Let's come on down. Oh, no infill. No infill. No infill. Just walls. Three walls. That's all there is. Right? Walls, 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 walls. Oh, and then you see my infill down there. So at 14 and a half millimeters, that's where that dude stops. So we have infill now supporting these parallel surfaces to the build plate. And then once you get above that, no infill. Don't need it, save material. Now, of course, you're gonna have to play with this a little bit. Make those settings changes. Go into your slice preview and look at the thing up and down. Make sure you don't have any weird trouble spots, right? Do all your normal stuff. But of course, if you can get rid of infill and not use it, then don't use it. Save yourself some time and material and some money. All right, so there's your tip for the day. Um, give it a like, uh, subscribe, that would be great. Subscribe, and um, there you go. Thanks a lot, have a good one.